In tonight's Two Americas report, when it comes to cannabis possession, people of color are three times more likely than their white counterparts to be arrested. But when it comes to cannabis ownership, black people only account for 4% of all owners in the marijuana industry. It is a lopsided disparity that's driven one black couple in Detroit to try and rewrite the narrative. In tonight's Two Americas, Seven Action News reporter Amira David introduces us to Copper House, Detroit's first marijuana-friendly B&B. Just beyond the hustling, bustling strip of the Avenue of Fashion is a quiet little home you'd never know was a budding business. Use what you need, leave what you don't. The house rules are simple. If you're 21 and older, you can live a 420 life 24 seven. This is Copper House. Detroit's first bud and breakfast. 3,000 square feet of living space and one of the few places where an overnight traveler can wake and bake. Why did you call this Copper House? I have a deep obsession with copper. Pretty obvious if you take a look around. It's in almost every single thing you touch. Even this lighter here yes. is copper. <laughs> we got copper ashtrays too. And it wouldn't be complete without a copper bong. When Jess Jackson and her wife Jakara bought this home in 2018, it wasn't meant to be a business. But when marijuana became legal, the couple felt a nagging desire to get their piece of the pot pie. I wasn't able to, to get into it at the way that I would want or as someone who carried a lot of debt. So they decided to leverage their home, the one asset they did have. But they'd have to navigate the journey on their own under-resourced and underrepresented. How many of the, the leaders within cannabis companies are still white men? Black people are just about as likely as white people to consume marijuana, but while 80% of business owners identify as white, just 4.3% are black. I mean, it's a, a lot of systemic issues over time, right? Um, who has access to to wealth, who has access, it's a very expensive game to play in. To what extent did your identity, being a black female, a queer female, play into your desire to open this place? It fuels every part of it. Today, the business is thriving. The B&B &B also open for event rentals, pushing the envelope of what can be possible in cannabis. Copper House gets to be a bridge maker as well, right? Like we have the cannabis industry booking our space. When we visited on a separate night, the venue was hosting a consumption party with recruiting company Flower Hire. But the kind of events in demand range from the educational. Tea parties where folks are learning about the endocannabinoid system with culture. And you can host intimate gatherings, intimate experiences, girl nights like facial parties, slumber parties, Parties. The B&B has hosted a pot jamma party and has even done elevated marijuana infused dinners. We respond to the community. That's really what we, we've tried to do out of our home is create a space where folks feel welcome and invited to be themselves. And feel inspired by the kind of hospitality that lives up to your high expectations. I'm Amira David, 7 Action News.